Hello, I'm Tracker TD, and today I'm going to be discussing video games. Sonic ones. Again. So, Sonic Generations has been out for a few years now, and on PC, it's still pretty active in the way of modding and stuff. Dario FF was, last time I checked, working on porting over the Sonic Unleashed Xbox 360 shaders, and now Twilight Zone, he's managed to get Sonic Lost World levels ported into Generations. I'm not really discussing modding today though, but rather graphical tweaks, in particular ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion is a technique used in production to approximate the effects of environment lighting. It's generally pretty handy for producing more realistic graphics and soft shadows, and many games nowadays have a setting for it as part of the basic graphic options. For example, here's Grand Theft Auto 5 without ambient occlusion, and here it is with ambient occlusion. It's a nice boost to depth and overall realism, and as a general thing, ambient occlusion is pretty damn cool. That said, not every game has settings for ambient occlusion, and if you haven't guessed where this is going, yes, Sonic Generations is one of those games. A couple of years ago, it was possible to force ambient occlusion using the NVIDIA Inspector tool and the Mirror's Edge compatibility bit for ambient occlusion, but a driver update broke that, and I've seen little mention in the way of a fix ever since. So, can ambient occlusion still be done in Sonic Generations? I've spent a while looking for a new method. First things first, there's basically four ways ambient occlusion compatibility can go in Sonic Generations. Either it works pretty wonderfully, it works but comes with some bugs, be they major or minor, it doesn't have any effect, or the only effect it has is reducing the game to a laggy mess with glitched lighting. The final of those ways is probably the most common I got when testing all this stuff. So, initially I began to do some digging on ambient occlusion in the game, and the first suggestion I found was to use the armour compatibility for it in Generations. I took a quick glance at the video footage provided, and it seemed to work fair enough, so I booted up Nvidia Inspector, tweaked the appropriate settings, and then went into Sonic Generations, where I was greeted by... a bit of a mess. For some reason, Armour's compatibility bit really messes up a lot of the 2D assets in Generations, in particular the heads-up display. Everything's rendered transparent, and you can see 3D assets and stuff loading in beneath stuff like loading screens. It looks really messy and weird. The occlusion itself is also perhaps a tad dark and unnatural. It's not the worst thing ever, and in some areas like Speed Highway, it does look quite nice. Still, I took another look to see if I could find anything better. At this point, I found a guide for ambient seclusion in... Resident Evil 6. I have no idea why I thought this would help, but it listed Hawken and Race Driver Grid seclusion compatibility bits as useful, so I decided to give those two in particular a try. Hawken worked and produced a more subtle natural effect than Armour's occlusion, but it also had the same transparency and asset glitches as that setup. So then I gave Grid settings a spin and holy shit it worked! No transparency glitches and a natural effect in the middle of that of Armour and Hawkins effects. At this point, I was satisfied and began to publish what I'd found on social media. But I really should have done more testing before being so sure it was the solution. For example, here's a look at Planet Wisp using Grid's ambient occlusion. Yeah, not too great. It's very glitchy and... Fuck it, it's just bloody wank. So, back to the inspector I went. At this point, I practically gave up researching solutions online and just went through each compatibility bit one by one to try and find one that worked. Some, like Alien Colonial Marines' compatibility bit, seemed to work slightly, but displayed very weird behaviour with the shadows and stuff. I was up until 2am looking for a solution to better shading in this game, about brightly coloured blue hedgehogs. But hey, I found something! 
Warmonger, which I'm assuming means the 2007 title Warmonger Downtown Destruction, actually seemed pretty good when I first tested its compatibility bit, created a nice effect and none of the transparency issues. But of course, given what happened with Grid's bit, yeah. So, here's Planet Wisp with the Warmonger bit. Well, that's much better. I will say right away that Warmonger's not 100% glitch free, but any glitches that are there are tiny, and overall it's by far the most stable compatibility bit for getting ambient occlusion in Sonic Generations. I may do a few more tests with other bits, but Warmonger works so well that I don't really feel the need to. Here's a handy image showing all of this stuff side by side anyway. And with that, I'm done here. Later, folks. <laughs>